Here's a spooktacular Halloween prank. First, you'll need some flesh-colored modeling clay. Shape the clay around your finger until it looks like this. Then use a tool to create the impression of a fingernail. Now use paint to color the clay. We want it to match the color of your skin. Next, we need some fake blood. And finally, a fake nail. Add fake blood to the other nails for a gory effect. It looks pretty convincing, huh? <sighs> I smell dinner. Check this out. Seriously? I'm gonna throw up. Nailed it. For this look, draw this on your chest. For this mixture, grab a bowl. And some Elmer's glue. Fill it up a bit. Then add a little flour. Add some paper towel pieces. And mix it all together. Use a stick. To spread it around like this. Then use a brush to add foundation. The key is to blend it into your skin. Use red body paint. To color in this section of your chest. Make sure the coat is thick enough. With some brown makeup. Add little marks like this. Then blend them in a bit. Then take black. And put it on your neck like this. Keep going all the way up. Don't forget behind the ears. See this little guy? Stick it here. And add some fake blood to the mix. Let it drip along the border like so. Put some on this piece too. Super creepy, right? Oh gosh, I didn't know this movie was gonna be so scary. What's behind the closet door? Oh man, I'm definitely gonna die. Huh? What was that? Mandy! Please! Ah! <laughs> hey! That went better than I thought! <laughs> we want to look gorgeous, not scary! Powder shower! Ah! Phew! What? What's that giant line doing there?
there! This stuff's waterproof! Oh, hold on! Maybe a tissue could help? You're making it worse, Lana! I look like I'm a chimney sweep! Thanks! This is unfortunate. Wait a second. This tissue may actually work. Put a small square on your cheek. Then wet it with a brush. Gently tear the tissue. The back of a brush works best. Use another brush to clump it. Put some non-toxic glue onto a brush. Paint it onto the tissue. Put your regular foundation on a brush and put it on top of the glue. It should start to look like skin. Put red liquid lipstick on a brush. But it's not going on your lips. Put it on the exposed skin. Careful not to get it in your eye. Then blend it with a sponge. Use concealer to blend the edges. Don't want to see that tissue! That red contact is perfect! Good thing it's Halloween, right? I know! I'm a makeup maven! We're gonna be late! Let's go! Ugh. This game is tough. I need to focus. You're my best friend, kissy missy! Ooh, that looks fun! What are you doing? Get out of here! Can I play? No, go away! Go on, please! Pretty please! Ooh, soda, my favorite! Hey, that's mine! Put it down! The bubbles tickle my tongue! Ah. Look, this is Kissy Missy! Stop being annoying! Seriously, I mean it! No, you don't! You just need a hug! Kissy Missy gives the best hugs! Get that stupid toy away from me! Oops! You dropped it! That's okay! I want more soda! Kissy Missy can sit there and watch you play! Are you kidding me? Mmm! This is good! Put the soda down! You make me so mad! Uh, uh gotta go! Ugh, she's such a brat! Hmm, I have an idea. It's time for some payback. First, I need white face paint. I'll run the brush over it and then apply it to my face. This will be my base coat, so it just needs to be a light coating. But I don't want to miss any spots. Now I'll use a darker foundation. I'll use this to create a contouring effect. I'll go over my cheekbones and around my nose. I'll also use it under my eyes. It'll look great! Okay, now for the next part. I'll cut the soda can in half. I'll hold it against my forehead. And use a makeup pencil to trace around it. Next, I need a bowl of glue and some toilet paper. I'll dip the toilet paper into the glue. And then place it on my forehead. I want to shape it around the soda can outline. I'll do the same on the other side. I want to make sure it's raised up off the skin. Pinching it will help get the desired effect. Now I need the soda can again. I'll push it into the toilet paper. Once it's dry, I can paint it with makeup. I want it to match my skin tone. I'll just go over it, building up the layers of makeup. Once that's done, I can add fake blood. I'll use a brush for this. I'll put it around the edge of the toilet paper and the can. This way, it'll look like a wound. It's fine if there's some drips. It just makes it look more realistic. Which is what I want, right? I can dab some red makeup around the can and toilet paper. And I'm finished. I'm ready to prank Cheryl. This will teach her not to drink my soda. Come here, Teddy! I need hugs! Jasmine was mean to me. I'm gonna tell mommy. You'll be in so much trouble. Take that! Huh? Don't ignore me when I'm throwing things at you! Do you hear me? Huh, I need something bigger! This'll do. Ugh, you deserve this! Ow! That hurt! Uh, are you okay? Uh, Jasmine? Uh-oh, that doesn't look good! Ugh, what… what happened? Jasmine, I'm sorry! 
I've got a really bad headache. What the? What's wrong? Uh, it's... Ah! <laughs> got her. I knew that would work. Now I can finish my game. Where is she? I'm so excited for this Halloween party! <sighs> Don't you want to go on in? I'm still waiting for someone. Aw, oh, man. His cookie costume is so fun! Hey! Sorry I'm late! What are you wearing? Ugh. Well, I guess we can finally go in. Hold it. Well, you can go in, but not her. Sorry, babe. What? He abandoned me! <laughs> and now my makeup is running too! I'm gonna have to do something about this. I'll clean off all my makeup. I'll put this tissue on my cheek and then wet it. There. It'll stick on its own now. Just gotta make sure it all gets wet. Okay, and now I'll make a tear straight down from my eye. And then I'll fold it over a bit on the edges. There! That should be good enough. Now I'll use some makeup glue. I'll dab it over the edges and the tissue. And a little bit on my skin, too. Okay, that should be enough. Now I'll dry it with a hair dryer. Nice and warm. Okay, it's dry now. Next up, makeup time. I want to use a foundation that matches my skin tone. Because obviously I want to hide the tissue. So it looks like my actual skin. It'll take a little bit of work, but it's worth it. Especially because I want it to look as realistic as possible. Okay, now for some setting powder. Ooh, look at it pop everywhere! I love it! Now I'll add it over the foundation. It looks so good! Now to add some fake blood. I'll put it all inside the triangle shape I created. I'll just dab it around up to the edges. Ooh! So cool! Now to dab with a sponge. Done! One side of my face I'm normal. And the other side is super scary! The creepy contact really helps sell the look, too. No one will abandon me now! Oh my gosh! Oh, you startled me! You're, um, you're free to go in. Finally! I made it inside the Halloween party! Oh, wow! Look at her! <laughs> hey! She made it inside! Hey! Hey, nothing. See you later. Any room for a witch? Come on in. Yes! <laughs> if you let me in, I promise I'll be good. On you go. Bless you. This will be a great night. Well, what are you, a scary strawberry? Nope, you can't come in. That's so not fair. Steady, steady, look out! Are you okay? Look at this, my boss will be mad. Sorry, let me help. Oh hey, these nails could be useful. Can I have them? Sure. First, take some face paint. Then stick some tissue paper to it. Then cover it all with more face paint. Carefully cut a hole where your mouth is. Use some black face paint to color your lips. No scary costume would be complete without blood. Then gently push the nails through the tissue paper. And... A simple scary costume. Time to go to the nightclub. Can I come in now? 
Hey, what did I tell you? No fruit allowed. Oh, how about... Ah! Ah! Mommy! <laughs> I guess I can go in. Most scare easily this time of year. Except for Lana. Betty, I know it's you under there. Ha! I'm not scared of a little tape, Betty. See ya! Am I the only one with Halloween spirit around here? That's a lot of plastic wrap. Take a sheet of plastic wrap and wrap your lower arm with it. Keep going until you get a few layers. Tape it with clear tape so it stays in place. Then, with scissors, cut upward against your forearm. Now tape it back closed without your hand inside. See this torso? Let's light it up! Put the Govee RGBIC strip lights on top. In a horizontal pattern. Now place a large torso shape on top. More clear tape will keep it together. Now to attach the arms! Yep, more tape here! And now it's showtime! Can't forget the head! Time to pick a color with the Govee app! Pretty cool, right? This'll sure get Lana's blood going! She's back! Why is it so dark in here? This is gonna be so good! <laughs> Let's see… Is Betty even home? Is our power out or something? I gotta figure this out. It's working! Betty? What's going on? Just look at her face! Time to get those Govee lights glowing! Looks pretty eerie, doesn't it? I can even make them change colors! <gasps> Hello? Please don't hurt me! I don't wanna die! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> this app makes it so easy! <laughs> Time for some twinkle action! Those flashing lights really set the tone! Wait a minute… This has Betty written all over it. Okay. Time to come out now. Ahem. Just bringing in that Halloween spirit. By giving me a heart attack? At least the lights are cool. Zombie, I'm so bored. Time for a break. Be back here soon for the rest of the class. Finally! I'm starving! Good thing I packed this snack box and drink! Oh, it smells so good! I can't wait to eat it! What can zombie eat if no brains? Worms! Good thing plant was here. Don't need salad. Bye. This looks good. Fresh dirt means tasty worms. Oh, so good! What's going on over there? Oh! Worms are delicious! Worms' second favorite food after brains. <gasps> She's eating worms and dirt! Ugh, I think I've lost my appetite. Maybe she doesn't have anything else to eat? Zombie, would you like some of my cake? Zombie crumbled cake so it liked dirt. No, zombie Ava! That's not how you're supposed to eat it! This gives zombie a good idea. <coughs> Please don't eat my brain! Oh, wait. Huh. That is a good idea, zombie Ava! First, I'll need an empty flower pot and cake, of course. Now to do just what zombie Ava did. Crumble the cake until it's nothing but crumbs. The crumbs look like dirt in the pot. And done! The whole cake has been crumbled! Next step, gummy worms. Into the pot they go with the crumbled cake. Now it's time to eat the fake dirt and fake worms! Zombie Ava, you're right! This is delicious! Zombie M, good friend. Here. Take this worm from the zombie. All right, class. I hope you had a nice break. 
What is going on? Are they eating worms? Oh my goodness! I do not get paid enough for this! Oh, hi, miss! Would you like some of our snack? No, I would not! Not at all! Okay. Zombie need hydration. Spider juice is good. This is so relaxing. A cute little pumpkin. What was that? Probably nothing. He hello Who's there? <laughs> Got you! That was so funny. That's not cool. Aha! Uh -huh. I need a ball of Play-Doh. Shape it around my finger. Use some flesh-colored paint to blend it in. Carefully make a small cut in the Play-Doh. Add some fake blood. A horrible, gory finger. Perfect. Time to work out. This is too easy. Wimp <sighs> Womp. Better watch out for monsters. And in one, one thousand and two. Ah! My finger! Ah! Y your finger! Oh, it's so sore. Help me, please. Don't panic. I'm over first aid! Okay, I'm here to help! What the? It's fake! Fooled you! Now <laughs> we're even! <laughs> That's not funny! This song is great, right? Here, here we start back! Yeah, 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 it's awesome! Hey, I brought you a drink! Uh, what the heck? She just bought it in! I can't believe she just poached that guy from me. Bringing him a drink. Ugh. Huh. Look at these octopuses. Yeah. I think I need to do something about this. Okay. I'm gonna need some makeup clay. I'll flatten it and then wrap it around my thumb. I'll squeeze it around and make a point. And then I'll smooth it all out. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now I need to add these little circles. I'll add them across the whole length. That should be enough. Now for some color. I'll use a brush to make it this purpley color. So, it looks like it matches my skin tone. It looks great! I'll do it for all my fingers! Yes! This is amazing! Alright, time to set my plan in motion. There they are. Still having a good time, I guess. <laughs> oh! Looks like he's leaving! Now's my chance! I'm gonna teach her a lesson. Guess who? <laughs> Monster hands! Monster hands! Huh? Where'd she go? Oh, she had to leave, but I don't mind. Wanna make a splash this Halloween? Use black body paint to fill in. That shape around your lips. Now, for the glue mixture. Pour some Elmer's glue into a bowl. Then add a bit of flour. Tear up pieces of toilet paper. Now mix it all together. Apply it all around the bottom of your face. The thick texture makes all the difference. Have a fake nail lying around? Cut it to look like this.
Get some paint handy. And use a sponge. To gently color the nail. See how they blend together? Perfect! Now it's time to turn them into teeth. They stick right underneath the glue. Now use foundation to blend things in a bit better. Can't forget to make some lips. Yep, all the way around. Then dab your cheeks with fake blood on a sponge. You can never have enough blood, right? And just like that, you're a surgeon gone wrong. Chilling. Check out this awesome party! Woohoo! Wow! His costume is awesome! I could use a doctor's visit! I'm so going over there! Hey there! Great costume! That's only half of it. Uh! You scared of a few teeth? <laughs> Scaredy cat. And you go right here. Looking good if I say so myself. <laughs> double double toil and… What? This? I didn't put on my costume yet, silly. This year, my costume's gotta kill it. Which means no top hat. But I have just the getup. I've been saving this thing forever! Isn't it gorgeous? And it's my favorite color! Ready for this? Abracadabra! What do you think? Uh… What are you, eight? No. But I've always loved fairy princesses. You're right. It's awful. But I just thought of something way better! It's just gonna take a little prep. For this, you'll need a top hat. And some Govi RGBIC strip lights. Simply stick the strips around the hat. It looks weird now, but just wait till you see them lit up! You can even stick them onto your clothes. Horizontal's good for this blazer. Then plug them in and let there be light, people! But the coolest part is that you can control them on the Govi app! Once it's downloaded, simply open the app, log in, select your lights, and you're done! You can then control them all wirelessly from your phone. Ready to show these bad boys off? Oh, girls! Check out my costume! Pretty cool, huh? Come on, what do you think? Uh, cool? You haven't even seen what it does yet. Hit it! It's linked right to the music! Party's looking brighter now, right? Those Govi light strips are pretty cool! And you can turn them any color you want! Or let them change all on their own. Bang, bang! Take that! Happy Halloween, sweetie! Can you help me with these decorations? Oh, yes, mommy! I'd love to! Okay, scary skeleton, you go there! Mommy! These cardinals are attacking me! Terrifying toilet paper! Yeah! A frightening face and balloons! Oh. Oops! Oh, I got it, darling. Are you okay? Finished, mommy! Ta-da! Oh, thank you, honey. Go play with your robot. I know 
what to do with this. Peel the skin from the watermelon. Carefully cut some grooves into it. Making sure you go all the way around. Put in a large bowl with some fake eyes and finally pour in some soda. And then, you have a floating brain in a jar. Oh, honey. Want some brain juice? Yummy, yummy. Mmm.